Well, uh, that was not exactly part of today's hunt, but I think we gotta do it. You know, nighttime hunts just do not feel the same as they used to after killing 8,000 bears in the dark and having nothing to show for it. So, I was dreading having to do this at some point, but I figured we better do it sooner than later. We're going to scour our map for Roosadier in their drink time because there's only so many Roosadier that I can see in our hotspot in the north. So, let's get it over with. Let's hunt these Roosadier in the night. Well, there is our first group of Roosadier. Uh, we are also adding a little bit of a twist to this video. We're going to be hunting them with the 4570, which is going to be really interesting. I have not used it on them, so I'm hoping it'll do well. I mean, it should. The 4570 is usually pretty decent at close range, so let's get close to this guy right here and try it out on him. Here we go. And we got the one behind him as well. That is a couple of beautiful shots on a couple of beautiful Roosadier. That right there is a gorgeous looking buck. Definitely not a diamond, but a 135. And it is the light brown fur type, which is one of my favorites to get. It just looks so phenomenal. And then we've got this poor unfortunate soul that just happened to be near the one that we took down. So we ended up taking him down as well. Let's go ahead and claim him. 116. And first shot actually did get the liver, so that's good to know. Second one took him down, though. Beautiful. I am really curious. Uh, oh my gosh, that's a level five. <laughs> that is a level five Roosadier. Um, I think that might be. I think that might be a troll, though, which is not really a big surprise, as pretty much every single Roosadier at level five we see is a troll. So. I'm just going to assume it's probably going to troll us and, well, hope for the best. You know, we have really only searched one location on our map for Roosadier, and that was that north hotspot in their feed time. So, we've got a lot of unsearched map to go through and look for Roosadier. And I think we'll go ahead and show off where that is right now. There is actually a lot of really good places that we have not searched, and overall, there is not too many places you have to go to to find all of the Roosadier. Pretty much just go to all the water here, these two lakes here, you can go to this little segment of the river down along the shore, uh, this lake here, this lake here, and then the last piece is just through here. Honestly, a very good range. I'm impressed with the fact that they didn't spread them across the entire map. We got more Roosadier behind us. Uh, we definitely are not going to focus on those at the moment though. Because we've got something a little bit more important in front of us. And honestly, the closer we get to him, the more I'm thinking this guy might actually be the first one that will make it of all of the level 5 Rusa we found. This will be my ninth level 5 and hopefully the first diamond. And down the river is even more Rusa deer. They are all over this area. This is actually a little bit of a hot spot. This is kind of crazy. Okay, so we have made it to about 150 meters away. We've got this four next to him. I think we're going to try and kill them both if we possibly can. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that marker right there so we can see him a little bit better. And let's go ahead and get lined up 150 meters away. And that is going to be a dead Roosadier. Two dead Roosadier, actually. Right under the beautiful moonlight as well. That is a sight to see. A beautiful dead level 5 Roosadier under a gorgeous moon. You know, I kind of wish we had found this guy just in a feed zone during the day, but it is what it is. I honestly think this guy's got a chance at making it. He looks very similar to the 144 trolls I've been getting, but I guess at the same time, this could be the diamond rack. Oh my gosh, it is! It is the diamond rack. It, it actually made it by a good bit, and I think he's kind of wonky even. That is crazy. We finally got a diamond rusa, though this is not the rack that I've been after. The rack that I want looks about twice as insane as this one, so hopefully we haven't found the only level 5 on this map that's going to make it, because I'd love to get another one that's larger. But even if this is the last diamond rusa that I ever find, this is a beautiful one to get. Look at how unique he is. He's a very uneven one as far as I can tell. Like, these antlers do not look even at all. In fact, I'm really curious what is it going to say on the true score. 
Yeah, so there is a little bit of unevenness to main beam length. And I think that's about it. It's just the length of it. So I guess that's why they look a little bit different is one is longer than the other. And here is the other one that we took down. This guy is much smaller, but it is still a beautiful level four. So got to get him down. Hopefully we can get some really good respawns from this little run that we're doing. I'm probably going to shoot all these threes and stuff as well, but I don't think we'll show all of them in the video as that would make this video very, very long. Man, the wind is not in our favor and neither is this brush. I don't know if we're going to be able to make this shot, but we are going to try it as best we can. That somehow worked out. We managed to get a shot into him and the other one as well, I think. I'm pretty sure we just got a two piece there. Well, uh, that was not exactly part of today's hunt, but I think we got to do it. <laughs> Bro, you shouldn't have ran at me. I, I don't know what you expected, man. Oh, no, I just realized this right here is a group of three Rusa, which means I probably just turned this into a solo doe zone. That's very, very unfortunate. But you know what isn't unfortunate? The uh, trophy that we managed to get for Rusadir during a multiplayer stream that I did not that long ago. So let's go ahead and take a look at a gorgeous albino Rusadir, one of my favorite trophies that we have got off Emerald Coast. Do you often find yourself just sitting there bored, wishing that you weren't just sitting there bored? Do you enjoy the hunter call of the wild? If your answer was yes to either of those questions, consider subscribing to the channel. It lets me know that you enjoy this content, and if you really want to see it as quick as possible, you can also turn on the notifications. Now, let's get back to it. Yes, it is multiplayer. Just kind of hopping around briefly until we jump in with Brobra and... Oh my gosh. I don't think this can make gold, so I'm just going to blast it. What were we just talking about? We were just talking about how rare these things are. And then we find one. Oh my gosh. Quick, get it taxed. Multiplayer is weird, so I want to get it taxed fast. Holy, we got an albino Rusa. Let's go, guys. Oh my gosh. This is one of the target animals of the night. This was one of the target animals. We got an albino rusa. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with that. It's a small four, but it's still a gorgeous albino rusa. Oh my gosh. We were after the leucistic primarily, but this is more rare. And pretty much just as cool. Wow. That was super sudden too. I know, right? I think we had passed like maybe a fox or two. And then we ended up finding this guy. Well, isn't that just the cutest level three you've ever seen? Let's go ahead and boop. Beautiful. You know, one of the great things about the Rusa deer is there is so many level fours. Nobody knows why, but pretty much every single Rusa is a level four. And a lot of those level fours end up scoring silver. I almost wonder if it's just a weird distribution of level that wasn't intended or what's going on there, but really does feel like there's so many level fours and half of them don't even make gold. And it also kind of feels like Sambar Deer might be very, very similar as I see a lot of fours for them, but again, a lot of them don't make gold, just like these Rusa. Well, there we have another nice level four Rusa Deer, including a couple of smaller ones next to him. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get a good shot on him. Uh, we're just gonna try and get his attention, get him to move around a little bit and then take the shot. Actually, that will do perfectly fine right there. Let's go ahead and pick this guy up. Another really stunning looking buck. 135.13, about the same score as the, like, five of the seven trolls that I had, or five of the eight trolls that I had, so... <laughs> you could say I've got a little bit tired of seeing that score, but it is what it is. Still a beautiful buck. Oh my gosh, that is a... That is a massive group of Rusadir, and... Oh. There's a group close as well. I probably should have paid attention to that, but oh my gosh, I got caught off guard by this massive grouping over here. That is crazy. 
That is so many of them. Oh my gosh, we've got another level five. This lake just keeps getting better. I think this may be the most loaded lake on the entire map. If you guys want a phenomenal place to go, this seems to be like an insane location. Three zones right here, plus one right here that I forgot to pick up. So four zones in total, and they are just chock full of Rusadir. Now with that estimate, man, it is very unlikely that this guy will end up making it, but I suppose there's always a chance that he could, but I'm not going to get my hopes up too much as that is uh, not a very, very good estimate, unfortunately. But yeah, this is just such a crazy lake. We got a giant group there, a giant group here, and then I spooked off a group of like five or six that was right there. And I don't think we've even seen everything because I spooked off a group here as well, it seems. Man, it just keeps getting better. Well, let's go ahead and get this guy down since the wind is starting to move a little bit. That is going to be a vital hit into that giant. Let's see if we can maybe get a shot into this guy as well. That is a hit and not vitals, but it doesn't matter because we got that big five down. Let's hope he makes it. I don't think he will though. Are you kidding me? I walked all the way over here just to have him float back. That's just not cool, man. Oh my gosh, we finally made it over. Let's go ahead and claim this guy. And yeah, 142. I had a feeling that that was going to be the case considering his upper estimate was literally 148. So the highest it could have gone was 148.99, which would have made diamond, but he sadly did not hit that high in the estimate. So very unfortunate, but I mean, it's still a pretty looking Rusadir. Well, unfortunately, I think it is time we remove one of these piebald Rusadir as we already have a couple in the lodge and this is a little bit more important to get up. That beautiful diamond Rusadir next to our diamond hog deer. Honestly, I'd say they look pretty good together. And we have decided to put our albino Rusadir in between the other two piebald Rusadir and I think that looks really good actually. I'm happy with the overhaul we did with this room. It used to be a Red Deer, Sika, and Axis Deer only room for the most part, and I kind of switched that around with the release of Emerald Coast because we've got the Sandbar and we've got the Rusa, along with stuff like the Banting that look really good in this room as well. So I'm loving how things are shaping up. I think it's looking a lot better than it used to, but let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, if you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell if you want to get notified when I post a video or go live. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.